For more updates, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and now let's get right into it. One of the primary positive factors last year was the growing interest in artificial intelligence. This enthusiasm has persisted into this year, with the NASDAQ and the Standard and Poor's 500 achieving returns of 18% and 15% respectively thus far. While large cap technology stocks in the Magnificent Seven have posted particularly strong returns, some smaller companies are emerging as compelling opportunities. Enterprise software company Palantir Technologies, listed on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker PLTR, has been a major beneficiary of the artificial intelligence surge to date. Shares have climbed 66% in 2024, and research analyst Dan Ives from Wedbush Securities believes there is significant potential for further growth in the stock. Ives recently set a $50 price target for the stock in his optimistic scenario, suggesting a 75% increase from its trading levels as of July 19. Let us delve into some of the themes from Ives' research to understand how and why Palantir might continue to benefit from the artificial intelligence wave. In April 2023, the company launched its fourth major software product, the Artificial Intelligence Platform. Although it represented a promising new growth avenue, the company faced a significant challenge. The year 2023 was dominated by major tech companies making notable investments in the artificial intelligence arena. How could Palantir get its artificial intelligence platform noticed when investors were were captivated by Microsoft's partnership with ChatGPT developer OpenAI, undeterred, the management introduced one of the most innovative lead generation strategies seen to date. They began organizing seminars known as boot camps, where prospective clients could experience Palantir's software firsthand. The primary aim was to help potential customers identify applications for artificial intelligence. However, the more lucrative outcome of this strategy is that it accelerates Palantir's deal pipeline, leading to faster customer acquisition and new revenue opportunities. The management team reports that they have conducted boot camps with over 915 organizations to date. Palantir's bootcamp strategy seems to be yielding results in the form of new customer adoption. Over the 12 months ending March 31st, the company increased its total customer count by 42% year over year to 554. Even more impressively, the count of United States private sector customers grew by 69% annually during the same period. Notably, Ives and his team have engaged with nearly 100 Palantir customers. After gaining a comprehensive understanding of how these customers utilize Palantir's artificial intelligence software and the evolving use cases for its technology, Ives informed investors that he felt compelled to raise his price target and outlook for the stock. The significant takeaway from the figures mentioned is that after several quarters of declining growth, Palantir's government revenue has begun to accelerate once more. This is an extremely positive development, and investors should not overlook the opportunity given the potential impact artificial intelligence can have on the company's government business, especially in the military sector. At the time of this article, Palantir trades at a price-to-sales ratio of 28.6 and a forward price-to-earnings ratio of 86.2. It is evident that Palantir is somewhat expensive, even for a growth stock. Ives addresses concerns about valuation in his latest research, and I concur with his rationale. Specifically, Ives views Palantir as a sum-of-the-parts business. A sum-of-the-parts analysis examines each individual component of a business separately and applies a specific valuation multiple to each segment. Given that Palantir has a legacy enterprise software platform based on data analytics that is now reaching a new customer base due to its artificial intelligence ambitions, in addition to a government contracting business, Palantir's overall operation is quite Quite diversified. For these reasons, I understand why Ives evaluates each segment of Palantir separately. To me, Palantir's progress in penetrating the private sector with its new artificial intelligence products combined with its government business represents a particularly lucrative combination. Additionally, its rapid customer adoption and renewed growth in the public sector certainly instill confidence from an investor's perspective. Despite the high valuation, I believe that acquiring shares in Palantir at this time could be a wise decision given the potential. A cautious strategy could involve using dollar cost averaging over the long term and adding to the stock when deemed appropriate. In the end, Palantir Technologies has significantly benefited from the rising interest in artificial intelligence, with shares up 66% in 2024. Analyst Dan Ives has set a $50 price target, suggesting further growth potential. Palantir's innovative bootcamp lead generation strategy has accelerated customer acquisition, resulting in a 42% increase in total customers and a 69% rise 
rise in U.S. private sector clients year over year. Despite high valuations, Palantir's diverse operations in artificial intelligence and government sectors, along with strong customer adoption, make it an attractive investment opportunity. For more updates, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next video.